Welcome back to another episode of The Farming Chefs. Let me get you up to speed what we've been up to this week. We started off this week by getting our ladies shearn or shorn. I've read that both of those tenses are correct and they are equally weird to pronounce. Shearing your sheep is an annual reoccurring event on your farm, in case you have sheep, and should be done around every 12 months. This is of course done to prevent the sheep from suffering during hot summer months, but the second reason is even more important. Wet and dirty wool can attract flies and hence attract maggots. These infestations can lead to disease and all kinds of skin problems, so that is one of the main reasons you really want to get that wool off. The world record for the fastest sheep shearing is 37 seconds per sheep, but our guy was pretty good, but it still took him about a minute or two a sheep. Once the ladies were done, we took them back out to pasture and moved them on to a new paddock as we still strip graze every day. Renato then went on to finish the last garden that we are building in haste and he added all the wood chips onto the paths. We then had to make a quick stop at the Riga Centro, which is the irrigation center, to pick up some extra piping and we hauled back to home to then install the irrigation and continue the setup of the garden. Renato then laid out the 4cm diameter main pipe, which is directly connected to the tank of our well nearby and then attached the drip tape tube connectors. The tape itself and then finally closed off the ends with the end bits. Since we are so late in the season right now, it is very hard to find any good plants available in stores. But lucky for us, we have a good connection with our neighbor who has kindly offered us to give us some of their leftover tomatoes, paprika or red pepper seedlings. So Renato and I got to work and in a matter of no time, we had a few of the beds filled up with some very sad looking tomatoes. This is quite normal when you transplant big plants as you are ripping them out of the ground and a lot of their root system unfortunately is left behind. In the next few days we'll be able to see how they manage to pick up and hopefully they will all still be very much alive. But it is a little risky. Renato then set out to put up our tomato trellising structures. We had these specially made for our last farm where we were doing large tomato seed production and we love these tea structures. They are easily built up and taken down again. We can move them all around the farm and they can hold up to 500 different tomato plants if not more per line with two or three of these structures standing. We then moved on to one of my favorite projects on the farm currently and that is the move of our ugly compost heaps. I'm standing in front of the location where we're going to be moving our old and ugly compost heaps to. I'm very excited about the move since it's going to be not only aesthetically pleasing but also in terms of infrastructure and time management this is going to be a much better location for our compost heaps. We have the vegetable garden here on our left side and then right under this beautiful oak tree we'll have our compost heaps ready to be used when we need to introduce some new compost for next year onto our gardens. So we are going to be building our compost heaps with these reutilized pallets, secondhand pallets. We got these pallets from a good friend this week. We took our trailer, hooked it onto the back of the car, went to the work and loaded them all up. Then we also needed to purchase some poles, so we went to a massive wood yard and we bought 16 of these beautiful two and a half meter long poles, untreated, quite rough, not that expensive, but perfect for our compost heap. We unloaded them all and then got to work.
it's the next day. I was going to go and shoot a little bit about how the garden is doing and how the compost heap is looking. But unfortunately, I don't know if you can tell, it's raining cats and dogs. So this is my goodbye video for now. I'll be posting again next week with an update and more to come. Exciting news, especially on a big move for our studio kitchen. See you on the next one. The Farming Chefs, peace out.